I'm going to demonstrate uh, here how two uh, boards that are measuring temperature and are sending the temperature via Wi-Fi, how they can uh, work together with an MQTT uh, broker. Uh, one of the boards has a temperature probe, this one here, that is an I2C LM75A uh, temperature sensor. Uh, so this one is running an I2C protocol inside and is connected to an MQTT uh, broker which is uh, sending and receiving uh, messages to this particular board um, <clears throat> based on the chip ID of the board. On the other hand, we have this other board here that uh, is also connected to Wi-Fi and connected to the MQTT broker, but it has uh, a temperature probe, which is a one wire temperature uh, probe of the type um, DS uh, or whatever it is, I don't know, uh, the standard uh, one wire uh, temperature probe. I will mention it later. Okay, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the screen and we're going to uh, send a request for temperature to the uh, different boards. So we can address via uh, MQTT uh, each board independently based on their uh, chip ID. So on this window here on the top uh, left, what we have is a window where we are going to issue the MQTT commands based on the chip ID of the board. So it's going to be sending that request to the specific board. On this window here, what we have is the temperature coming back from the board for the I2C temperature probe. So the, the module that is connected to the I2C temperature probe will be returning this temperature here when the request is sent here. And on this one here on the top right, what we're going to get is the temperature from the one wire board when we issue the proper command on this we will get the temperature here. So let's uh, start now. The board that is uh, I2C is the board that starts with a 104 for the chip ID. So I'm going to issue a command sent to 104.76641, which is the I2C board. If everything is correct, the temperature should be coming on in here, down here. So let's issue that board and we can see that the temperature changed to 25. I'm going to heat up this a little bit by putting my finger there. Give it a little um, <clears throat> higher temperature to the sensor. And let's go issue a command again and see what happens. Now is at 27. So now I'm going to do a little bit more experiment here. I'm going to cool down my finger and then I'm going to put my finger on that uh, chip there. All right, let's do that. That should be a little bit cooler, so it should change. It should go down. Let's try it again, okay? And here it is. The temperature now is 23.3 degrees. Disregard the numbers because that temperature is multiplied by 10 and you'll see that the temperature on the other one is multiplied by 10,000. That is depending on the precision of the, of the chip. Okay, so now we're going to send a request to the other board, to the other sensor, the one that starts with 105, 105, 14788, which is the chip ID that is um, of the board that is connected to the open, uh, of the, to the one wire uh, sensor. The response should be coming here. So let's just issue that temperature request and see what happens. Now we see here the temperature is 25.0625. The one wire has a lot more precision. Now I'm going to heat it up a little bit with my hand. See if we can get it. So I'm heating up the sensor there. Come again, issue command again, 
and now you can see the temperature went out all the way to 28.125. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap this in ice to bring the temperature down. Okay. So the sensor is wrapped in ice. We come here. I'll issue the temperature request again and see what happens. 14 degrees. So it's going down. If we do it again. It's probably going to be 13 and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. So this was a demonstration of how we can get uh, multiple boards connected to the MQTT uh, broker and the boards supporting different protocols for uh, the, the, the temperature sensors and uh, talking independently to the MQTT server. Okay. Thank you.